star of the million is Tony Kinsley from Brooklyn, New York. I understand you have a special way you wanted to come out here this morning. I, uh, well, you know what? I'm what? actually very much into uh, the art of uh, vocal percussion, uh -huh. uh, a.k.a. beatboxing for those uh, not initiated. Um, and uh, I wanted to drop a little something here for everybody, but I wanted to know if you were down with partnering up with me. I'm maybe... down. Are you down? Whatever you say. <laughs> All right, so... I mean, yeah, can we clap it up one time for... Sure. <laughs> Tell me what I have to do. All right. All right. So it's very simple. All right, what do I do? All right, we're just going to give you the basic beat. Okay. And you keep it going, and yeah. I'm going to jump in with you. Okay. Don't get distracted. All right? Can I, the audience do it with me, or...? Well, yeah, if, if you guys think you okay, can keep right. the beat with okay. Meredith, you, you I tell me what it is. Right in. Okay, so it's just basic... Doom, doom, ch. Doom, doom, ch. Doom, doom, ch. Just doom, bounce doom, it a little bit. Yeah, as you, can, as you get the idea. Very nice. If you guys want to freestyle later, we can, we can do that too. Well, yeah. if you're as good at the game as you are at that, you're going to walk away with a million dollars know, just like uh, that. We'll see about that. All right, huh? you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Tony, are you ready to play? I'm very much ready to play Meredith. All right, dum, dum, <laughs> let's play. All right. <laughs> $100, Tony. In a traditional rifle salute, soldiers receive the familiar commands, ready, aim, what? Fire, march, attention, do the hustle. Uh, that's ready, aim, fire. A final answer. Good start, Tony. You got it. <laughs> Going for 200. Common among school children, a pinky swear is an oath sealed by two people locking what together? Little fingers, index fingers, middle fingers, ring fingers. That would be the little fingers. A final answer. It is. That's exactly right. <laughs> Going for 300, Tony. Which of the following is not a common idiom? As the crow flies, curiosity killed the cat, beat a dead horse, sick as a dolphin. Sick as a dolphin? D. D? Final answer. Let's go. Yeah, never heard of that. You're uh, right. You got it. <laughs> Going for 500, Tony. The title of the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's refers to a world famous what? Grocery store? Jewelry store? Toy store? Pet store? Tiffany's, the jewelry store, the final answer. Most women's favorite store. You have it right for $500. Go so for a thousand, Tony. For which of these performers is esophageal perforation a common occupational hazard? <laughs> Ballet dancer, sword swallower, mime, classical conductor. My peeps down at med school wouldn't really let me back if I didn't know what the esophagus was. Mm. Um, so I'm going to go sword swallower, because it's kind of sharp. B, final answer. Yes, sir. You've got it for $1,000. Going for 500 Tony is off to a great start here at Millionaire. We'll be back right after this. down with Tony Chinqui from Brooklyn, New York. Smart guy, Harvard undergraduate. Yep. And now you're at medical school, right? I am at medical school, down at Emory Medical School, best medical school ever, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in Atlanta, Georgia. And, um, yeah. Do you know what kind of a doctor you want to be? You know what? I'm keeping it open. Uh -huh. As of right now, I've thought a lot about being a surgeon over the past, you know, couple years. This isn't a bad choice. You know, no, not bad at all. <laughs> Ear, nose, and throat, though. You Obviously, you know the esophagus. You know I so got a couple things down. Seems to me you're halfway there. <laughs> Feels that way. Yeah, right? I know. So, well, we're so I'm glad excited. you're spending some time with us. And you brought along Melanie, your friend Melanie. Hi, yes. Mel. Nice to see you. <laughs> and you call her your good luck charm? Yep, pretty much. How come? I mean, generally, whenever we get together, things just tend to work out perfectly. Oh. So I figured if I'm going to try to win a million dollars, 
I actually need her in the chair behind me. Well, she's so. there, and she's rooting for you, as are we all. You have your first thousand dollars, Tony. So far, the luck is on your side. Right. Going for two thousand. All the three lifelines are still there. Are you ready to play? Ready to play. Let's okay, do it. let's play. All right, Tony, for $2,000, what type of company is the U.S. corporation whose name is an acronym meaning yet another hierarchical officious oracle? Car maker, healthcare provider, internet search engine, bank. The great thing about Harvard is that everyone needs to know big words like <laughs> acronym. So <laughs> um, that means we're looking for Yahoo which is an internet search engine C finalist. Yes, sir, it is the internet search engine. <laughs> Going for 4,000, Tony. What classic American automotive brand produced its final car, an Alero, in 2004? Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Cadillac, Buick. Here's what we're going to do. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. So we're going to ask the audience. I think that sounds... I think that sounds good. <laughs> audience, Tony needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Oh, yeah. Okay, 72% okay. believe Oldsmobile. That's a big number. You know what? I like that number. Mm. I like it a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the audience because you are so very sure today. So we're going to go uh, B, Oldsmobile, Final Answer, America. Very sure, very right. You have $4,000. Oh, All right, Tony, this is for 8000 In your home, which of the following would be the most appropriate place for a candlestick? In a sconce? On a valence? in the wainscoting on an escutcheon? I don't know any of these words. Ah. <laughs> they did not teach them to me in mm. four years of higher education. So, <laughs> I'm gonna make a call. And I'm gonna call Marcus. And who's Marcus? Marcus is my younger brother. Okay, we're gonna get Marcus <laughs> on the line. Marcus, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great, too. You know, I'm here with your brother, Tony. Yeah. Go, going for $8,000, and he's hoping you can come through for him. If I come through, he can buy me that iPhone. <laughs> Possibility. Yeah, well, you might owe him an iPhone, Tony. <laughs> you got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. All right, so where is the appropriate place for a candlestick? Is it in a sconce, a valence, a wainscoting, or an escutcheon? 18 seconds. Uh, Where would I keep a candlestick? Candlestick. Well, give me the choices again. Sconce, wainscoting, valence, escutcheon. Five seconds. Sconce. You sure? No. <laughs> Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he sounded so sure, and then when you said, you sure? No. No. Oh. <laughs> well, he said sconce. Let's do, let's do sconce. In a sconce. A final answer. Oh, Tony, I'm sorry. You owe your brother an iPhone. <laughs> Thank you.